Hey everybody, it's a nice, I guess, finally getting fall and over summer. We've had 90 degrees temperatures all week, and today is actually a nice cool breeze and I'd say mid to low 80s outside. Um, I love it now. Um, sorry I haven't been doing videos lately. Uh, I've been going out sourcing in the weekends, but haven't really found a lot of stuff, just a few items. I'm really picky about what I purchase now that I have another stream of income that's taken off my trusty vinyl decals there. So I haven't been buying game parts and kitchen parts, you know, parting things out. I've just been buying things I know are going to bring a lot of money because I don't have time to spend listing game parts. But I haven't found a few things here and there and Chad posted a video today about it, one of his little boo-boos this week so I thought I'd do a quick little boo-boo video. Um, a couple of the good things I have found see that Nerf Vulcan picked up a three bucks thing will go for 30 or 40 or more on Amazon. It's missing the tripod though and then I have the ammo belt and it's a cl the clear version. Um, I picked up one the week before which is the normal yellow and orange one. I already sold the ammo belt that paid for the whole gun. So I'll probably do the same thing, sell the ammo belt separately. And up there is the ammo box, which I'll probably sell with the gun, maybe uh, separately, I don't know yet. But that's not the boo-boo. The boo-boo and my tip of the week is, even if you're familiar with something, still check it out before buying it say you're really familiar and you sell Polaroids all the time, you should still investigate every one that you buy before you spring the cash on it. Um, like mine was these uh, Extreme 3D, 3D Pro Logitech um, joysticks. I pick them all up, up for all the time for a couple bucks and I sell them for 20, 25 bucks. If they're in the box, I can get 30 bucks for them. This one I saw sitting on a table at the uh, garage sale. Wanted, I think it was two bucks for it. Sure, why not? Two bucks. Grabbed it. Just a couple of things around. Didn't even check it out. Got home to take pictures of it. Started unwrapping the cord. And I don't know if you can see it in the slide. I'll put a light on it in a second. And once I got the cord unwrapped, oops, where's the camera? You can see here the the uh what do you call it the uh little rubber thing we'll call it the little rubber thing that goes in here and protects the joystick a uh, boot it's a little rubber boot but you can see here it's all torn up and it was hidden from view because of the clever wrapping of the cord that the seller did so that kind of pissed me off um i may still try to sell it as is i'm not going to get as much for it uh, you know, I can maybe get five, ten bucks for it, I hope, get my money back. But just a lesson learned. Make sure you check the things out. Even if it's something, you know, you see it, go, oh my, got to get it. I know I'll get 20 bucks for it. Check it out and be sure you may not want to buy it in that condition. I had another boo-boo thing, but I can't remember what it was, and I can't see anything laying around. So... Um, I mean, this one over here can be a boo-boo, not this one. I had another one I bought down here is a George Foreman baby rotisserie. I saw one uh, I purchased for five bucks. I thought it's no problem, it's a no-brainer, get 40, 50 bucks for it. So I just grabbed it and I didn't investigate it. Uh, when I got home, I opened it up, investigated it further. And it had a lot of rust on there. I really couldn't get cleaned. Even part-wise, by the time I took the thing apart, there was only a couple parts on it I could sell. Uh, yeah, I did get my money back from it from one part, but um, I probably would not have bought it with that condition it was in when I got home and saw all the rust inside. So, lesson of the day. You see something, you know it's a no-brainer. Still check it out thoroughly before you spend the money on it. It may not be worth it. So that's it. Go check out Chad's um, video. Uh, he posted today. He had a good uh, 
good tip there about again investigating something that looks like a no-brainer so that's it for me today tomorrow Saturday I'll probably go out sourcing a little bit we're expecting rain Sunday so may not go out Sunday it's been a pretty good day on eBay so I'm still doing decals and getting things uh, shipped out so see you guys later